Hi, I am Movie Man. I'm not supposed to review movies, and today's review is going to be on. So I make this wish. So wish. Now this was a film which actually didn't look too bad from the trailers, in my opinion. I didn't think it looks particularly like that great, but it looks like a decent film and it's a fun watch. I went to see Wish three days ago now, and well, I had seen the very mixed response that this film had been getting. Like the like the the reviews this one were very polarizing, but. I went in open minded hoping to enjoy it. Now after having seen the movie for myself, what do I think? Sadly Yeah I'm in the group of people that did not like this film very much. Yeah, if you ask me, this is definitely a really disappointing movie. Um, I'll start off with something positive and say that the animation, I actually think, is very nice. Now, I know I have... I've seen, like, a lot of people complain about the animation, saying that, like, um... You know that it looks a bit cheap and that it looks like just a just like a bit better than like uh, than like the animation for like a Disney T V program for like small children. Um But if you ask me, I think the animation is actually really nice here. Um I I like what I like the the approach that this film takes with its animation where it kind of mixes 2D with 3D and I think I think it, it looks quite nice um, and like it kind of gives the film this sort of a storybook kind of style to it and I, and I think it honestly looks very nice um, so yeah, for I, I think the animation here is actually very good. Uh, then we have the pace in the film. Um, and this is honestly something which I had a big issue with. Like, the, the pacing in this film is honestly really bad um like this is a short enough film at only an hour and 35 minutes however despite i mean despite its short runtime the film just feels like a bit too quick like i mean people were giving out about the super mario bros movie and how like that movie's pacing was way too fast, but oh my god, I mean, the film just seems to go through everything very quickly, and like, 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 like it seems like the story just, it all just seems to happen so very fast, and like, it kind of, like, it kind of feels as if certain scenes happen, like, earlier, then they should happen and it really messes up the, the, the film's structure. Um I'll talk more about that in a while, but yeah, for me the pacing was honestly a very big issue I had with the movie. This film honestly had some of the worst pacing I've seen in any film this year. 
Then we have the soundtrack in the song. Now, a lot, well, so, some things which a lot of Disney movies are known for is, you know, their songs, you know. Um, and yeah, we do have a soundtrack in this movie. Um, you know, we've got a good amount of songs here, but if you ask me, the songs in this film were actually really disappointing. I was honestly very disappointed with the songs in this film. Now, there is one song in this movie that I do like. That being the, kind of the main song, This Wish. Uh, I'll, I'll be honest, I actually do really like that song, or at least the first rendition of it anyways. I, I, I recommend going and listening to it on YouTube, because it's actually, it's actually really good. But, outside of that song, every other song in the film is just very meh. Like... The other songs in the film, they're fine at best, and at worst, they're just really not very nice to listen to. Go through all of them, but the songs here are not very good. I don't, outside of this wish, I don't really like any of the songs here. And of course, then there's the villain song. This is the thanks, I guess, and yeah, um, boy, what a disappointing song that is. I mean, we go from great villain songs like Be Prepared and Hellfire to that. I mean, oh, I mean, I, I mean. I, I've heard some say the song is kind of catchy, and I can see why, but like, I don't mind there being, like, a fun song in a Disney movie, but, like, like the lyrics to this song are honestly just very bad, like, some just don't make sense. Yeah, yeah, so, outside of this wish, the songs in this film were really not very good. Now, as for the characters, now I'll admit, I actually do like the main protagonist in this film, Asha. I wouldn't call her like a great protagonist or anything, but I think she is likeable enough. I think Ariana DeBose does a very good voice performance and... Yeah, also, I just I just found Asha quite a nice character. Um, I thought she led the film pretty well. So overall, I liked her as a character. Outside of her, though, the other characters in this film I did not very like much. Like the main villain of this movie, King Magnifico. Like, he's not really a bad villain. I'll admit I do think Chris Pine, he, do, he definitely has a lot of fun in the voice performance, but I don't know. I just thought, like, the writing for his villain just could have been a lot better. And, yeah, I just thought he could have been a much more menacing villain, just... Just much, like, I just, I just found him quite a disappointing villain. Um, uh, the animal psychic in this movie, Valentino the ghost. Um, I mean, I, I, I just really didn't care about his character. Like, he wasn't annoying, but he was kind of just there and. 
I just didn't really care so much about him. Uh, same with Star. Um, yeah, I know that's his name, Star. Star was like fine, kind of cute, but nothing really to him other than that. Um. Uh, then uh, like like some of the other characters I just didn't really care about like Ash's parents. Uh, her parents were in the movie a bit, but honestly, I just didn't care too much about them. Like, like I mean, her father kind of has a bit of a so there was kind of a subplot in the movie involving her father, which admittedly seemed kind of interesting, but. I know the movie didn't really do enough to make me care too much about it. Probably because it also just didn't really show that much of Ash's relationship with her parents. So I just really didn't care about them very much. And Asha has a group of other friends as well. And oh my gosh, they are... All just, both of them are just so bland. I mean, there's this one friend of hers named Gabble who is okay. I find it really, really surprising that he's actually voiced by Harvey Gwillen. And in, in, in what is not only his fourth movie this year, but his second time starring in an animated movie which has the word wish in the title um but yeah her friends were all just so bland and i did not care about a single one of them outside of gabo he was okay but Everyone else was just so bland and uninteresting. So, outside of Asha, all the other characters were just incredibly meh. Or just were plain forgettable. Um, now, for the plot of the movie, um, now the film has a very simple premise for a Disney movie, you know, it's just, um, she lives in this kingdom, um, this, the, it's ruled by a king, and this king, uh, he promises to grant people's wishes, and he doesn't grant everyone's wish, and then, and then, uh, and then the girl wishes upon a star who actually gives people wishes, and so, it's kind of like basically it's kind of um it's pretty much Asha versus Magnifico um and I mean while it is a very it's honestly a very simple premise but it could be I mean it could be something that's like you know could be enter it could be an entertaining watch for a kids movie but. I mean, the film just, it just didn't really do enough to make me care all that much about what was happening on screen. Like, care about, like, a lot of the side characters, like Ash's parents. Again, they didn't really, they, they didn't really focus enough on Ash and her parents to really make me care too much about them and not to mention um like like considering that most of the characters in this film are very meh I, I just right it's because of that that I just really couldn't I, I couldn't really care too much about this like the plot and so for what was going on. I feel like the movie like it like like it 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 had just a simple enough premise but like 
Well, I could have done something entertaining with it. Like, it just, it really should have done a lot more to, you know, make me really care about everything that was going on. Oh, and, um, not to mention, this film wasn't even very funny. Like, there was, there was one or two jokes which got a small little chuckle out of me. But there was this one joke kind of towards the beginning of the film that I thought was pretty funny, but... Outside of that, the jokes in this film were just... Incredibly... Like, just really lame. Just, just not very funny in the slightest. Um... Also, not to mention, and, 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 and this becomes especially prevalent during the film's third act, is where they'll have, they'll sneak in like little references to other Disney movies, and I don't mind them doing that, but after a while, it just got really annoying and. Honestly, very eye-rolling. So, yeah. The plot of the film... Um, I mean, it wasn't a bad plot, but... Honestly... It should have done... It should have done way more... To make me care about... Everything going on. And then... We come to what is easily... Without a doubt, like the film's weakest aspect, its narrative structure. Like, I mean, like the I I thought the the structure of this film's plot was really bad. Like, I'm not kidding. I mean. And th and this is also a, a a huge reason for why the pace in this movie is honestly very bad. Like I'm not kidding. Uh, I I I honestly did not really feel like there was a second act in this film. Like. I felt honestly like there was like uh, uh, like what what second act this movie did have, it felt so short. Like, like I I did not really feel like the movie has a proper three act structure to it. Like, I thought the movie has like. Like a pretty long first act, then, then like a really short little second act, and then this, and then a big long third act. Like the movie did, it did not feel like a, a three act structure. Like it has a first act and a uh, and a third act, and then a very small little second act. Like, like it, it, it just, it was just so poorly structured. It's like, like I mean, some of the other animated films we've gotten this year that have run times of only like over ninety minutes, like Ruby Gilman, Teenage Kraken. And the Super Mario Bros. movie. Like, these films, and they were both shorter than Wish. Because Wish was 95 minutes. Meanwhile, Ruby Gilman was 90 minutes. And the Super Mario Bros. movie was 92 minutes. Like, I mean, again, I know a lot of people complained about the Super Mario Bros. movie. About how the pacing was very rushed, but... Honestly, like, I mean, at least with that movie, I, I felt there was a three-act structure. Like, same with Ruby Gilman. At least it has a three-act structure, but... With this movie, Wish, I honestly really did not feel 
like that was a three act structure. It felt like that was just a first act, a short little second act, like a big long first act. No, no second act, a very small little second act. So yeah, the narrative structure in this film was honestly really bad. So, overall, I did not like Wish very much. It's honestly one of the most disappointing movies we've gotten this year. And, yeah, I mean, it, it's just it's just more proof that um, this, the, of the of the of the, the amount of fatigue I have with Disney. Like I mean, it's not like a terrible movie or anything. I mean, it's a harmless movie for kids, but even then, like it, it is. It could have done so much more with this. Like, I mean, the animation is nice, and I do like. The protagonist of Asha, and I do really like the song This Wish, but also what brings this film down is is like because the other songs weren't very good, the other characters were all very meh, and some of them forgettable. And I, I mean, at the end, the, 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 the plot was just very poorly structured, so. Yeah, overall, this was just not a very good film. I mean, it's not. I mean, it's not the worst thing Disney's put out in the last five years or so. I mean, it's not as bad as Ralph breaks the internet or Strange Worlds, but even then, I expected much better from it. And yeah, in my opinion. This is easily the weakest animated movie of 2023 because, I mean, up until now, there actually hasn't been a single animated movie this year that I've actually disliked. I mean, first we had Puss in Boots, The Last Wish, which was a master. I mean, the first animated movie we got in the year, and it was a masterpiece. And it was a much better 2023 animated movie starring Harvey Gwilin with Wish in the title. And then we had the Super Mario Bros. movie which was really good. Uh, we had Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse which was another masterpiece. Then we had Ruby Gilman Teenage Kraken which was really good. Uh, much better than a lot of people make it out to be. Then we had Elemental, which was pretty good. Then we had Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Mutant Mayhem, which was fantastic. And then we had Trolls Band Together, which was actually okay, but unfortunately, Wish is the worst of the bunch. Wish, Wish is just a lackluster movie and Honestly, not a very good way to celebrate a hundred years of Disney. And yeah, I know, I know the boy in the heron hasn't come out yet, but I mean, I think we can all tell that's going to be way better than this film, so. Yeah, I mean, if your kids want to go see something this holiday season... I recommend either bringing them to see Trolls Man together or Wonka or something. Hopefully Wonka is a way better musical than this film. Yeah, Wonka is actually going to be a musical, believe it or not. But anyways, so with all that, I am going to give Wish a 4 out of 10. So with that, I'll see you guys next time and bye.